to shoot uh, a quick video, at least I hope it'll be quick, on a, kind of a fringe part of my collection. Um, and that is of these blue, bo uh, blue box uh, plastic toy cars. Um, they are from roughly the same time period. Um, they were made by a company in Hong Kong called Blue Box Toys. Um, and everything that they made was plastic. But kind of interestingly, even though they knew how to make these toys really inexpensive, uh, they weren't terribly creative when it came to which toys to do. Um, they basically copied already existing Matchbox models. So, as I've kind of put together my collection of all the different Matchbox, um, when I search for certain models, uh, certain makes, uh, or you know, wheel types, um, variations I don't yet have, I've started to come across these, uh, these little blue box models and was just intrigued by them. Um, if anything, just for the novelty uh, that I can find a Matchbox model that corresponds with it. Um, they're pretty cheap, you know, most of my Matchbox are fairly valuable um, and I'll pay pay up for some of those. Uh, the Blue Box toys, it's kind of a neat little side thing to collect. Um, I think for the models that are in box, I've got uh, one of these two. Um, those I typically will pay up to maybe about five dollars each uh, for, depending on the, the condition, the quality that they're in. Um, and I, I've been able to buy a couple of these in larger groups. So some of these, like this one, actually have multiples of. This one has the hook, this one's missing the hook. And for those of you familiar with uh, Matchbox, these are both copies of the Matchbox Breakdown service. Um, in fact, even if you look at their naming conventions on the box, Breakdown Lorry, uh, they call them exactly the same. So some of these models, uh, there's you know imitation, but it's not exact. You can see there's a significant size difference on these ones. Um, and I don't know if that's just my particular copy of the Matchbox. Uh, I don't have any of the earlier metal wheels of this particular um, model, and maybe those would match up a little bit closer. Um, but I've been really shocked at just how exact some of these models are. Um, so this is the uh, Mirror Hill Dumper, and I think they literally made the plastic castings off of the metal castings uh, from Lesney and Matchbox because um, these are darn near identical in almost every way. Um, size is the same. You can tell, you know, the plastics, the colors are a little bit different on plastics versus a uh, painted die cast. Um, but they've even tried to imitate uh, the colors of the plastics with the model colors that Matchbox put out. So green on the base, red on the bucket. Um, so kind of, kind of cool. Um, I said, here's another one that's really, really close. Um, you can see, the, you know, the quality of the blue box toys is non-existent. These were cheap. Um, they were knockoffs or ripoffs of uh, the Matchbox, and really for that reason, because they were so poorly made um, and the plastic was so cheap, a lot of them didn't last. You know, it's not they weren't built like the Matchbox that you know we know <laughs> we can find models that are 50, 60 years old and are in mint condition or still maybe just very good condition. Um, the Blue Box, even though they're not as collectible and even though they made millions and millions of each of these models, um, some of these can actually be kind of difficult to find. Here's the uh, cement mixer. Um, I don't have one of the older original ones. This is from the 92 um, series 
that was released. I think they called it Series 3 or something like that, Series 2. Um, but it was the closest model I had to the Blue Box uh, copy that I have. Um, again, you know, pretty exacting as far as the size, the measurements, the design goes. Um, kind of a kind of a fun little side thing to collect. So I wanted to shoot a video on the Blue Box toys. Um, like I said, these are really inexpensive. Um, I think the last set of these I bought, uh, an entire set, was able to get 15, 17 some odd models for uh, $20 shipped to me. So, you know, a buck or less than a buck a piece uh, for the models only that I paid for all of the blue box that I have in, in my collection. Last but not least, this is uh, one of my blue box that I don't yet have the matchbox for. So I was curious if any of my viewers can uh, point me in the right direction of which matchbox Lesney model this is a copycat of. Um, it's probably a different color. I don't know that there's any matchbox that are neon orange. Um, but let me know in the comments below which uh, make, model, or number uh, you think that this is from Matchbox Lesney. Um, so that's that's it for my Blue Box series. Um, said kind of a, uh, a fun little side piece to my collection um, and I wanted to shoot a video about it just to let you all know. So let me know what you think. Uh, as always don't forget to like this video, um, comment below, tell us what you like about the channel, tell us what I'm, what I'm doing right, tell me what we're doing wrong, and uh, most importantly, don't forget to click that uh, subscribe button down there at the bottom. We'll let you know 
get notifications every time we produce new content. Every time we get a new uh, video uploaded, you'll get that little ding um, that'll let you know that we've got something new in the works. So thanks for joining uh, Vintage Diecast Restoration and uh, look for our next video.